Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to find the rate of change of tables. Okay, so we're gonna do a few problems together, and then you have a chance to try a problem on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right. So again, just a reminder about this: what exactly is rate of change? Okay, rate of change describes how one quantity changes in relation to another. All right. So for this, what I did, just like before, is I created a, a four-step process, okay, to find the rate of change from a table, okay? And don't forget, a table shows pairs of x and y values, okay, which can be graphed, okay? And these x and y values, when you place them together, are linear, so they make a straight line, all right? So step one, it says find two points, okay? So for this x and y table, we have four points. We have 4, 12, 6, 18, 10 and 30, and negative 4 and 12. So I'm going to pick just two of them, and you can choose any two. So I'm going to use the first one and the second one. So our first point is 4 and 12, so 4 and 12. And our second point is 6 and 18, so 6 and 18. And remember, the 4 is our first x value, and the 6 is our second x value. And our 12 is our first y value, and the 18 is our second y value. All right. Next, determine the change in the y values from point one to point two. Okay. So our second y value is 18, and our first y value is 12. So if I do 18, take away 12, the change is six. Okay. Step three: determine the change in the x values from point one to point two. Well, point one. Uh, or point two is the x value is six, and the x value for point one is four. So six take away four is two, and then the last step: write the rate of change as a ratio of the change in y over the change in x. So the change in y was six, and the change of x was two, and then I can reduce reduce that down to three to one. So the rate of change of this function. Okay, is three to one. All right, let's turn the page and try the next one. So again, here we have another XY table, and it's the same process. So find two points. So the X value, I'm gonna use, again, the first two, doesn't matter. So our first point is gonna be 20 and 10. And our second point is six and three. But again, remember, I could, I could use the first point and the third point or the last two points. It doesn't matter. All right. Next, determine the change in the Y values. So if I do 3 take away 10, that gives a change of negative 7. And then determine the change of the X values. Well, 6 take away 20 gives us negative 14. And when I write that as a ratio, negative 7 over negative 14 can reduce down to, while well, negative divided by negative is a positive, and that can reduce down to 1 half. So the rate of change of this function, okay, is 1 half. If you look at these values, to go from 6 to 3, you times it by a half, right? To go from negative 30 uh, to negative 15, you times it by a half. So there's the rate of change. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the your turn, your turn problems now. And then when you're done, hit play and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I did with these practice problems. Okay, so step one, find two points. So I'm going to use the first two points. So our first point is 2 and 12. And our second point is 4 and 24. So 4 and 24. Step 2, determine the change in the Y values, all right, from one point to the next. So our Y values are 24 and 12. So if I subtract that, we get the change, which is going to be 12. Next step, determine the change in the X values from one point to the other. So we're going from two to four, right? So if I do four, take away two, we get two is a change. And last but not least, write the rate of change as a ratio, which is gonna be 12 over two, which reduces down to six over one. 
and there's the rate of change, okay? And if you look at all these values, to go from two to 12, we're gonna times it by six, right? To go from four to 24 is times six. Eight to 48 is times six. And 12 times six gives us our 72. So the rate of change is six over one. And then the last problem. Let's use a different color, let's use red here, all right? Um, again, same process, so take two points. So I'm gonna go with uh, 10 and eight, and also 30 and 24. Step two, determine the change in the Y values. So 24 take away eight gives us 16. Step three, determine the change in the X values. Well, 30 take away 10 is 20, so 30 take away 10 gives us 20. And then write it as a ratio. So the change in Y is 16. The change in X is 20. And I can reduce that by dividing both the 16 and 20 by 4. So uh, 16 divided by 4 is 4. And 20 divided by 4 is 5. So our rate of change is 4 fifths. All right. How'd you do?